Hey everyone, what's going on? So on November 5th, the same day as Game 6 of the World Series that the Houston Astros went on to win, the big news story was the death of the singer Aaron Carter. And what's so interesting about this death is that if you've been following my blog posts and my videos, I've talked a lot about this earthquake symbolism and how it was linked up to either an earthquake that was going to happen during the World Series or something symbolic to earthquakes that was going to happen during the time of the World Series. And there's been a number of other things that happened, all connected to San Francisco, reminding us of earthquakes and such. But the reason Aaron Carter was so significant is because the last time that I've blogged about Aaron Carter and the last time that I made a video about Aaron Carter, it just so happened to involve earthquake symbolism. He has an album called Another Earthquake that I'll get into in a little bit here. But notice this blog post was in 2017. And I also talked about how it was linked up to the World Series in this blog post. And who won the 2017 World Series? It just so happened to be the Houston Astros. So what are the odds that I would blog about earthquake symbolism with Aaron Carter in 2017? Talked about how it was linked up to the World Series that year. And that was the year the Houston Astros had last won the World Series. Further, in relation in this blog post, I went on to talk about how, because the whole thing was how he was on this show called The Doctors, and how he didn't want to die like his sister, Leslie, who had died from a drug overdose. But if you read about Leslie Carter's drug overdose, she actually fell ill while in the shower, and then she later died, right? So she fell ill in the shower, and now we're told that Aaron Carter died in a bathtub. And if you look up Leslie Carter, she just so happened to die on January 31st, 2012, which is a very interesting time frame because if you remember, one of the most famous singers of all time here, Whitney Houston, think about Houston Astros, Whitney Houston, she died 11 days after Leslie Carter, right? So Whitney Houston dies in a bathtub 11 days after Aaron Carter's sister dies after falling in the shower, and now Aaron Carter ends up dying in a bathtub. And 11 days is also interesting because the 11th prime number is 31. And in this language of gematria, the practice of coding numbers into words and phrases, if you write out Houston, it equals 31. The 11, so his sister died 11 days before Whitney Houston. The 11th prime number is 31. Houston equals 31. His sister also died on the 31st day of the year. And to put this in perspective, Aaron Carter just recently died 32 days before his birthday on the same day the Astros went on to win the World Series. And of course, if you write out Aaron Carter, Aaron Carter just so happens to equal the same as Houston Astros. Aaron Carter, 51, 75. Look at Houston Astros. 51, 75. That's why they had the Mattress Mac guy who supposedly won $75 million on the Astros, right? Because Houston Astros equals 75. Anyway, in 2017, the reason that I was connecting that story of Aaron Carter to the World Series was because Aaron Carter has a twin sister. And in 2017, if you were following what I was talking about, there was a humongous narrative linked up to a theme with twins and I noticed that if you wrote out twins it equaled 85 and that story came 85 days before Aaron Carter's birthday also if you wrote out Minnesota twins it equaled 183 just like how Aaron Carter equaled 183 and also his 30th birthday was coming up one month and 13 days after the 113th World Series and he was going to be 30, and the 30th prime number is 113. So I thought it was connected to the 113th World Series. And the Minnesota Twins didn't win that World Series, but the Houston Astros did. Which is interesting how they, you know, end up winning this year now, connected to Aaron Carter yet again. But the it's funny because the Minnesota Twins, if you write out Minnesota Twins, they equal 84. And the big number that I was following with the twin theme that year and the Minnesota Twins was the number 84. 
and they ended up losing in the wild card game with a score of eight to four to get knocked out of the playoffs, you know, to the Yankees. And, you know, that's, that's the thing about Gematria. It doesn't always pick the winner, but it really doesn't matter to me. Showing that these patterns exist is what people need to see that, that these exist. You know, you can't deny that I was following the number 84 with the twins all summer talking about this twin theme and how I thought it was linked to the twins. And then they end up losing eight to four. The, the pattern existed, even though I was wrong on the, you know, the outcome of what was to be with it. Right. The pattern is what's important so we can figure out and teach people that there's just something greater in this world that exists. And, you know, I think that's what people need to know more than to make millions of dollars off of betting on sports. I mean, don't get me wrong. How cool would it be to have millions of dollars and never have to go to work and not have to live the, the big time slave life. I get that, but Gematria doesn't always pick the winners. And a lot of people aren't honest about this, you know, but Regardless, it doesn't matter that the pattern still exists. But what's funny is uh, earlier this year, I was following the twin theme a little bit in the summer. And because uh, I was talking about, there was this story about Wendy's and how they changed the logo of Wendy's in Canada to gray hair instead of red hair. And th there was a whole bunch of stuff that was linked up to, you know, the twin theme going on this summer. But Wendy's, the owner was Dave Thomas, and the word Thomas means twins, stuff I talked about in 2017. So I wondered if there was something connected to that same narrative, and it was interesting because the Astros were having such a good season, and the Astros also had won the World Series the same year that I was following that twin theme. And even later on in this blog post, I even talked about how I thought it was just connected to either to the Mets, the Astros, or both, to, you know with the, the Batman symbolism and a whole bunch of other things. So I really thought the Mets were going to play the Astros in the World Series this year. And there, there's some other things, too. There was that Truther rally in Buffalo earlier this year where Vice News had showed up. And Vice News had wrote that article about Zachary K. Hubbard in 2017 after the Astros had won the World Series. And that World Series had a lot to do with Hurricane Harvey and Matt Harvey being the first pitcher to pitch in Houston after Hurricane Harvey. And just before that Buffalo rally earlier this year, Matt Harvey just so happened to be suspended. So I knew that the Astros were probably linked up to that symbolism, but Matt Harvey also played for the Mets and then the Mets are playing Queens and we had Queen Elizabeth die. And I mean, it really seemed like the, you know, the Mets were going to be there, but no big deal that, you know, doesn't, the, the symbolism still existed. The queen ends up dying. It's connected to, you know, it's just insane. But anyway, the whole reason I'm bringing all this up is the fact that I was talking about the Minnesota twins in relation to Aaron Carter back in the day. And on the same day that Aaron Carter died, the, Houston Rockets ended up, they were playing the Minnesota Timberwolves. So it's interesting that Houston was even connected to Minnesota that same day. The Rockets played the Timberwolves the same day the Astros won the World Series. And if you read out Minneapolis and Gematria, it equals 127. Also, if you read out Leslie Carter, his sister who died, it equals 127. And this is an error. She died 127 days before her birthday. I don't know why I wrote she died 127, but so Minneapolis 127, Leslie Carter 127. She died 127 days before her birthday. She died on the 31st day of the year. The 31st prime number is 127. Aaron Carter, his birthday is 12 slash seven, like 127. His album that came out before the album called Another Earthquake, it came out one year, 27 days before another earthquake. And there was another story about Aaron Carter in 2017, just before that story about how he was on the show called The Doctors, and The Doctors, just so happens to equal 127, the show that he was on that I blogged about in that blog post. But uh, there was another story that came out on August 7th, even though it actually happened on August 5th, the mainstream media wasn't reporting on it until August 7th, which was the 127th day 
of the Major League Baseball season that year. And the story was about how Aaron Carter had came out as bisexual. But I mean, what are the odds of all that? You know, her name's 127. She dies 127 days before her birthday. Aaron Carter's born on 12 slash 7. It was on some show called The Doctors, talking about how he didn't want to die like his sister. And The Doctors equals 127. You could even go a little bit deeper and think about how the Los Angeles Lakers were originally from Minneapolis and how Aaron Carter has that song, The Time I Beat Shaq, and Shaq wore the number 34 with the Los Angeles Lakers, and then Aaron Carter ends up dying at the age of 34, and he died in connection to Shaquille O'Neal, which I have a blog post on, but I'm going to skip over that for right now. The reason I want to skip over that is I want to get into this number 226. It's really, really important. For the last month or so, I've been talking about the number 226 and how I keep seeing the number 226. And considering this post, my old post is connected to the earthquake symbolism, connected to the Astros and so on. It's interesting that if you write out Aaron Carter, his name equals 226 in these Francis Bacon ciphers that I've been talking about a whole lot for the last couple of years. They're important to capital letters, but if you write out Aaron Carter, his name equals 226. And remember, Astro is also equal 226. Another reason why in October I was talking about the Astros, but Astros 226 at the time they were playing the Seattle Mariners who equal 226, and they're the only two teams that were in the playoffs that equaled 226, and they were playing each other. And it is important here in a minute. It's important to 9-11 and also how Aaron Carter was born on Pearl Harbor Day, 9-11 and Pearl Harbor. And Seattle is important to 9-11. For one, the company who was the builders of the World Trade Center, whatever it is, Clement Magnus, whatever, Clementix Associates was out of Seattle. But also, the last time the Seattle Mariners were in the MLB playoffs was in 2001, right after 9-11. And remember, they had like 116 regular season wins, and they got upset by the New York Yankees right after 9-11. And if you go from 9-11 to Aaron Carter's birthday, which is Pearl Harbor Day, it just so happens to be two months and 26 days. Think about how Aaron Carter equals 226. Seattle Mariners equals 226. Astros in all capital letters equals 226. And the all capital letters thing has been really, really important to the things I've been talking about. That's why it's important that all capital letters even links up. Think about the capital insurrection, right? And think about how Nancy Pelosi's husband was just attacked in san francisco right but the reason that i know that aaron carter being born on pearl harbor day is important and how it's linked up to 9 11 is the fact that in this old blog post where i talked about aaron carter i also mentioned the connections to 9 11 and the reason i mentioned these connections to 9 11 was because on this show called the doctors he talked about how on 9-11-2001, he was in New York because he was an opening act for Michael Jackson. And he wasn't with Michael Jackson at the time, but his limo had had a flat tire. And they got out to fix the flat tire. And he said he randomly looked up at the sky and a, a plane hit the World Trade Center. And it messed him up, you know. It like He said it was like, you know, it just, you know, it messed his brain up and whatever, right. So he was in New York on the day of 9-11. He got a flat tire and, you know, then the plane, he watched the plane hit the World Trade Center, he says. And regardless if that's true, it connects to 9-11. And then he's born on Pearl Harbor Day, which 9-11 was considered the next Pearl Harbor, right? Where buildings 1, 2, and 7 fell down, just like how Pearl Harbor is on 1, 2, slash 7. And then you connect all this to Minneapolis, the Twin Cities, and how Aaron Carter was a twin, and then the Twin Towers fell. You know, it's an interesting narrative. And then, of course, Aaron Carter equals 226, 9-11. It was two months and 26 days before Pearl Harbor Day. 
Astros equal 226. Seattle Mariners equal 226. They were in the, the playoffs for the first time since 2011 when they got upset by the New York Yankees right after Tom Brady started playing against the New York Jets right after 9-11. And then, you know, the Patriots go on to win the Super Bowl after the Patriot Act. But another connection to 226 with the World Trade Center is the fact that in 1993, on the date 226, the World Trade Center got bombed, remember? 226, 1993. So just interesting how all these things kind of play together. That number is pretty important, it seems. And if you look up Aaron Carter's album called Another Earthquake, Another Earthquake just so happened to come out on the date 9 slash 3. 9 slash 3. At, so 2002, so less than a year after 9-11. This album even came out three months and four days before Pearl Harbor Day, right? Aaron Carter's birthday, 3-4, or 12-7, but this album came out three months, four days before that. Now he's dead on at the age of 34. He has a song about Shaquille O'Neal, who wore the number 34. But, uh... Another interesting thing with the the 226-93 World Trade Center bombing, uh, an interesting thing happened on that day outside of the United States was the Warrington bombings. It was 226-1993. And if you know anything about, you know, the 90s music, there was the Cranberry song called Zombie. And this song just so happens to be about the Warrington bombings right here. Talking about the Warrington bombings. So that's what the song is about. And remember, the lead singer of the Cranberries just so happened to die in a bathtub in 2018, right? So just after the Astros won the World Series in 2017, the lead singer of the Cranberries ended up dying in a bathtub. It's interesting, she died on January 15th, like 115, just like how Aaron Carter just died on 11 slash 5, like 115. And like how if you write out Whitney Houston's full name, I think it equals 115, right? Whitney, what is her middle name even, Elizabeth? We'll see if that's right. Yeah, Whitney Elizabeth Houston, 115. I'll have to think a little bit more on that, but... It reminds me of France. Honestly, France equals 115 and 34. Right? Thinking about Aaron Carter dying age, 34. Talked about France tons of times over the years, you know, so. But in relation to the Cranberries and that song Zombie, this lady uh, is originally from Ireland, right? And think about the Warrington bombings that are important to Ireland. And if you go back and look at all my information about... Russia invading Ukraine, Russia invaded Ukraine 226 days before Vladimir Putin's birthday, and his birthday just so happens to be 10 slash 7. And this is interesting because if you write out the word earthquake, it equals 107. And in relation to Houston, we just had that guy, what, take off from the Migos die? And the last album that he put out just so happened to be on... Vladimir Putin's birthday. But remember, in relation to Russia and Ukraine, they talked all about the Klitschko brothers who were boxers, right? And there's this big boxing narrative. And you think about Russia and the Ivan Drago, right, from the film Rocky. And you also just had Conor McGregor, whose record became 22 and 6, right? And he fought the Russian, right? He fought Khabib. So now his record is 22 and 6. Or, well, it was after losing to Dustin Poirier, the French guy, whose name equals 226. So, yeah, just pointing it out here. So, Conor McGregor lost to this guy who's from France, or has the French name and all that. His name's 226. Conor McGregor's record became 22 and 6. Now I'm talking about how it's connected to the Cranberries lady who has the connection to Ireland with Conor McGregor. And Conor McGregor had that big connection. I'll leave a link to my video with it, but there was that big boxing narrative that was connected to 
Russia invading Ukraine, and they invaded Ukraine 226 days before Vladimir Putin's birthday. And it was also important to Donald Trump saying he wanted to box Vladimir Putin. And then around Thanksgiving, I think it was on Thanksgiving one year, they put Donald Trump's head on the body of Rocky, the boxer. And, you know, think about Thanksgiving and the country Turkey and the leader of the country Turkey, Recep Erdogan, or however you say his name, his birthday is 226. And then to connect it even further with Pearl Harbor, remember, Joe Biden met with Vladimir Putin on Pearl Harbor Day just before Russia invaded Ukraine. So he met with him on 12-7 of the year 21. And then right after they invaded Ukraine, the Ukrainian president was in the news a month later saying he was comparing the Russian invasion to 9-11 and also Pearl Harbor. So there's a humongous relationship here. And what's interesting is if you write out Pearl Harbor, it just so happens to equal 226. And if you write out World War, it equals 226. And if you write out Kim Jong-un, guy that's always important to World War, 226. And this is interesting because if you go back to my last video, I talked all about this and how I think the, the bridge earthquake symbolism, it's more symbolic to something similar to this and not necessarily a physical bridge collapse, but more of like a broken bridge within like a, you know, personality, I guess, broken bridges, not necessarily a, a bridge collapse. And so now I'm thinking about the earthquake symbolism and how it's showing me the number 226, it seems. And it's all linked up to this World War symbolism and this Pearl Harbor 9-11 symbolism. So there's definitely something very deep here. I'm wondering, you know, two, two months, 26 days after Aaron Carter died, or, you know, maybe there's something important to that date or... So honestly, just a few minutes ago, I stopped this video. I was kind of looking through some stuff. And I was wondering, since I mentioned that, I wonder what two months, 26 days after the day that Aaron Carter died was. And what are the, I mean, seriously, what are the odds I stopped the video 2206, like 226, right? And notice that two months and 26 days after the day that he died is the same day that his sister died. The anniversary of his sister, Leslie Carter, dying. So how interesting is that? His sister died two months and 26 days. Like their anniversaries of their deaths are going to be two months and 26 days apart. That is, that is craziness. And today's even November. It's now November 9th, like 11 slash 9 or 9 slash 11. That's even more hilarious. So maybe I need to watch, maybe, maybe I need to watch January 31st. I wonder if January 31st maybe is going to be significant. The odds that I would stop the video at 22.06 to kind of do some research and look into some things, because that's what I do a lot of times when I make these videos, I'll stop and think about some stuff, and it's just craziness. What are the odds? Two months, 26 days before the anniversary of his sister dying. Another reason that I know that 226 is a number that I'm supposed to see Outside of the fact that the number just keeps popping up in everything, like such as Kyrie Irving was suspended 226 days before his birthday, and a number of other, two, Angela Lansbury equals 226, and she just died, and just all kinds of stuff. But remember, on October 11th, YouTube deleted one of my videos. They deleted my one about the umbrella symbolism and mind control, and I pointed out how that video was two hours and 26 minutes long. And this is the thumbnail that I used. And then on October 17th, I learned that from Zenith of the Alpha, that Enter the Stars had made a video on the same day that YouTube took down my video. And he used this as his thumbnail, the penguin with the umbrella, just like how I used that same exact photo in my thumbnail and YouTube deleted my video the same day he uploaded this video. And what's interesting is that if you go from Enter the Star's birthday to my birthday, it's 226 days. And that video was two hours and 26 minutes long. And back in like 2020, 
I made a video about the umbrella symbolism, and Enter the Stars left me a comment where he's all mad about what I said or something like that. I can't even remember what it was for sure. So, whatever. But I went back and looked at that comment, and that comment was two years, 26 days before the day that I found out about him using that same thumbnail that I had used on the day that my video was deleted. So I was like, you know, this number 226. And in relation to Enter the Stars in 2017, I have this blog post about Natalie Holloway and the twin stuff and how I had, there was a weird synchronicity that I had where Enter the Stars had shared something on, on Facebook about his twin. And then I started thinking about Enter the Stars, and I thought was thinking about the the Houston Astros logo, which is a star. And I even pointed out, like, I'll remember this day if the Astros are in the World Series, right? So it's like, it's craziness, right? So, you know, now, now this happens again with Enter the Stars. I'm having a synchronicity. And then the Astros go on to win the World Series again. And it's linked up to the number 226, and his birthday's 226 days before mine, and they took down my two-hour, 26-minute video. That is, that's crazy. I wonder what, I'm going to look up Natalie Holloway, I'm just thinking about it. I wonder what her birthday is. October 21st. doesn't stick out to me. Let's see. Hold on. 1021 to May 30th. 1021. Hmm. Well, it doesn't, not 226, but 221. We'll tap it out really quick. I want to see what Natalie Holloway equals. I keep, I have this up still from a Different video I made on Snapchat, but Kyrie Irving, he got, he posted this video, right? This film, Hebrews, the Negro, Negroes, Wake Up Black America, 147 days before his birthday. And that equals 147, and Kyrie Irving equals 147, you know? And then he gets suspended on the same day that Benjamin Netanyahu wins the election, and you got a story about synagogue shootings in New Jersey, and of course... The Brooklyn Nets, where Kyrie Irving plays, is the, you know, used to be called the New Jersey Nets. It's just ridiculous. But Natalie Holloway, that's what I was going to look up. 221. These, these capital letter Francis Bacon ciphers are so legit. It's just, hopefully I spell her name right. Well, Natalie Holloway. Yeah, 221. She died 221 days before her or after her birthday or whatever. Happens all the time. I, I, I mean, I can't even tell you. These ciphers sync up more than the other ciphers, I feel like. Every time I look, they're, they're always connected to the capital letter ciphers, especially after the 2019. You know what's even funny about Natalie Holloway? Just looking at it. Natalie Holloway disappeared in 2005. But you can't believe who was in the 2005 World Series. It was the year the Astros lost to the White Sox. I'm pretty sure. So I've talked about this World Series a whole bunch because the Astros had a tie that season. And that was linked up to the Chicago Cubs winning in 2016. So how perfect. I didn't even catch that back in the day. It was on a blog post about, I made a blog post about Dadley Holloway that I had a synchronicity with Enter the Stars and Twins, and I thought it was connected to the Houston Astros, and then the Astros were even in the World Series the same year that Natalie Holloway went missing. <laughs> anyway, another uh, 226 that I find interesting is, I went back and I was looking at my old Aaron Carter video, and I made this video on September 18th, 2017, where I talked about Aaron Carter and earthquakes and the twins Yankee 911 symbolism that I'm talking about in my blog post. But what's funny is in this video, I go on to talk about a synchronicity that I had with Weird Al 
and the Backstreet Boys. Of course, Aaron Carter's brother is Nick Carter, who was in the Backstreet Boys. But if you've been following what I've been blogging about, talking about forever, for the last two months or so, I've been talking about the connection to Weird Al and how Weird Al, they were coming out with a new movie with Weird Al. Now it's really important to this earthquake symbolism. And the earthquake symbolism is linked up to a bridge symbolism and all that. But let's see if I can find where I, I must have closed out of this. Right here though. But look at the screenshot that I took when I had this synchronicity. I stopped this video at two, with two minutes and 26 seconds left even. It's like, what are the odds that I would do that? And I had this synchronicity on September 3rd. I blogged about it after midnight, but it was on September 3rd, which just so happens to be the anniversary of Aaron Carter's album called Another Earthquake that came out, right? 9-3, then the 93 World Trade Center bombings. Backstreet Boys equals 424, which is interesting because that's the big number that was showing me to pay attention to the all capital letter symbolism. But I can't remember what happened. I was on Facebook and I randomly watched this video about this kid who supposedly never heard the Backstreet Boys before. And he said he's never heard the song, but he's heard Weird Al cover it. And then I went upstairs and I walked to my bedroom or something and the Simpsons were playing and Weird Al was on the Simpsons, like right when I walked in the door. And then I talked about how Weird Al was the first ever concert I went to and how Weird Al codes a bunch of stuff with 27 and 72 and everything he does and he would talk about 1989 and Weird Al's in a movie called UHF as well that came out in 1989 a big thing I've been talking about the earthquake symbolism was the 1989 World Series earthquake that was 33 years ago and it was important because they showed number 33 Jose Canseco crossing the plate just before the TV footage went out from the earthquake and so on. So then we get the 33rd anniversary of it and so on. But uh, Weird Al has a movie called UHF that it came out two months and 26 days before that Loma Prieta earthquake, I'm pretty sure. And also Weird Al, uh, there's totally a whole bunch of uh, 27s hidden in the background of that new movie. Let me see here. I mean, I didn't even watch the whole movie. I, I listened to a lot of it, but I mean, section 27, right? Later in the movie, there's a 27 behind Madonna. Like, it's just like, it's just craziness, you know? Even jokes about the Illuminati. Talked about earthquakes here. Hulk Hogan's in the end of the movie. Hulk Hogan's been important to the earthquake symbolism I've talked about. But yeah, that UHF film came out. Two months, 26 days before the Loma Prieta earthquake. Yeah, let me go back and look at these. It's always so unorganized, but... Let's see what I posted with all this stuff. So Aaron Carter found dead in the bathtub. Talked about this. Connected to Whitney Houston and his sister, who died just before Whitney Houston. Brought up the 226 stuff. Oh yeah, of course, the Astros did win on the... Anniversary of the Astro World Crowd Crush as well. And, you know, to also talk about that in a previous video with the South Korean Crowd Crush that happened, you know, just a few days before the Astros win the World Series. Minneapolis and the twin theme. Astros with. Just the capital A equals 183 as well, just like Aaron Carter, like Minnesota Twins. In that old post, I talked about an earthquake in Minnesota as well. And it was called the Morris Earthquake, and Morris equals 183. And I talked about how in that post there was something to do with the most recent earthquake in the Twin Cities was on 42481. And that was 36 years, 183 days before the 113th World Series, and then 424 is that big number with the capital letter symbolism. 34 is also that big number with the bridge theme on November 4th. And November 4th just so happened to be National Candy Day, 
And Aaron Carter has a song called I Want Candy, and then he dies the very next day at the age of 34. But 34 is that big number with They Live and so on. And another earthquake came out three months and four days before Aaron Carter's birthday. And then, of course, he has a song called That's How I Beat Shaq. And Shaq wore the number 34. Remember, everything about Kobe Bryant's death. Like, yeah, no, the number 41 was really big, you know, how he died at age 41 and all kinds of 41 stuff with Kobe Bryant. A helicopter crashed after 41 minutes. But the number 34 was a humongous number, and it was a big reason why I, I knew the season was going to be scripted around Kobe Bryant because Dwight Howard was going to be turning 34 years old that year, and he joined the Lakers again on Kobe Bryant's birthday. I seen a story today about how Dwight Howard's playing somewhere overseas. I need to look into that because I bet it's connected somehow. But because Dwight Howard, you know, he uh, played for the also played for the Houston Rockets, right? The, there was a big narrative with the Rockets with that whole thing with Kobe and so on. And it, it's amazing, like literally, it's amazing how I don't have hardly any subscribers when I think about that. And like in the summer before Kobe died, I was talking about the whole season would be scripted around Kobe Bryant. And a bunch of stuff, and it synced up to 34 with Dwight Howard, and then Kobe Bryant ends up dying on the third month and fourth day of the NBA season, all kinds of stuff. And it's like, still, like, nobody has a clue. Who, like, you know, it's just weird. It's just, people talk about being censored and whatever. I feel like I'm, like, one of the most censored people on here or something. It doesn't make any sense. You think that would blow up like crazy, having a, a video talking about, Kobe at the number 34 and how he everything about him couldn't play with Shaq who wore the number 34 won an Oscar on the date three four and all kinds of stuff it's like but who knows doesn't really matter that much well it does but it doesn't you know it's hard to explain but anyway you know Aaron Carter dying age 34 Shaq number 34 Aaron Carter died 204 days after Shaq's birthday or that song came out 204 days after Shaq's birthday. Like Houston Astros equals 204. Aaron Carter died four months and one day before Shaq's birthday, which reminds you of Kobe Bryant though, right? And if you go from Kobe's birthday to the day Aaron Carter died, it's 74 days or two months and 13 days. Remember Earthquake with a capital E equals 213 Kobe Bean Bryant equals 213. Los Angeles equals 213. Los Angeles is in the 213 area code. The Super Bowl was just on 213. The one that was won by the Los Angeles team, right? Kobe's also, Kobe's name equals 135 like Golden Gate Bridge. So Kobe's been linked up to this bridge earthquake symbolism for a long time that I've talked about. Plus the 74, Shaquille O'Neal equals 74. Aaron Carter's birthday to Shaq's birthday is also 89 days, or two months, 27 days, and Shaquille O'Neal equals 227. His full name equals 89, and just Shaq equals 89, and then I'm thinking about the Loma Prieta earthquake that happened in the year 89, so... Aaron Carter. The TV show Manifest just came back too. Manifest Flight 828 came back on November 4th. If you watch the show, the plane actually comes back on the first episode on the date November 4th, 114. That's the day that the Weird Al movie came out. That's the anniversary of the movie They Live coming out. It's important to, you know, just got to watch my previous videos. I don't want to re-explain it all, but if you go from Aaron Carter's birthday to the day another earthquake came out, it's eight months and 28 days. And if you write out his name in the English extended cipher, his full name equals 828. And, you know, I don't know how significant that is because I, I usually I usually this cipher only seems relevant when I have a synchronicity that's connected to it. And I did have a synchronicity sort of with Manifest because uh, just before making this or when I was starting this blog post or whatever, I was also trying to watch Manifest and my daughter went upstairs and I was trying to tell her there was pizza 
downstairs because she had just got home. And when I called her, I was watching Manifest and I looked at my clock and it said 828. And I was like, one of the ads I'd call her 828. While watching the show Manifest, it's all about flight 828. But so possibly Aaron Charles Carter. Aaron Charles always makes you think of Aaron Rodgers, too. Of course, Prince Rodgers Nelson equals 226, and Aaron Carter had a son named Prince, who was 11 months old, right? And then he just died in the 11th month. Talking about September 11th, it was all about the number 11 as well. His sister died 11 days before Whitney Houston. Also thinking about it, with 2023, that's going to be the 11th anniversary of his sister dying as well. On the 31st, right? 11th Prime is 31, so. 131 is also, you know, Super Bowl equals 131. I'm wondering, too, you know, Michael Jackson was just in the... Important too, and you know, think about the 9 11 stuff with Aaron Carter and how he was on tour with Michael Jackson. Michael Jackson was a part of the Artemis One launch that was supposed to happen on his birthday, right? And then they changed it to 9 3. Wasn't it? I'm pretty sure it was 9 3 they changed it, so that's the same day as the another earthquake came out. So something to think about there. He was 13 years old, Aaron Carter was, when the World Trade Center attack happened. The 13th Prime is 41. Al-Qaeda is 41. The Dayton numerology was 41. The Yankees upset the Mariners 41 days later. 41, a big number with that. With 9-11. Think about all that stuff. It's funny, I typed in Pearl Harbor on my blog, and the first post that came up was this post I made on September 20th, 22, about Lady Gaga and this, a bunch of stuff, earthquake symbolism, Pearl symbolism, and uh, one of the pictures I shared in that post was this picture right here of an old blog post about a earthquake that happened 585 days after Pope Francis visited Mexico City. And 585 is this big earthquake number I've talked about for years. And it's just funny because the the clip that I, or the picture that I used was of my Aaron Carter video. So I just thought that was funny. So maybe Mexico City, we just had that earthquake in September. And that's why I blogged about it, I think. It was a Lady Gaga. That had to do with the lightning symbolism, and the lightning symbol was linked up to Donald Trump and Vladimir Putin and a whole bunch of stuff. And I wrote in a bunch of 226 stuff in here. That had, I mean, just random things that have been happening, but that's too hard to explain, but. Zach mentioned how Cooper Cup's grandpa's trying to buy his house 226 days before Cooper Cup's birthday. I had synchronicity with Weird Al on the song The White Stuff, and his food album came out on 22 slash 6. The only reason I know that song is because of the food album, too, so that's why I put that in there. But Nancy Pelosi's husband was attacked, but her brother had died a couple years ago right around the same time, and he died two months, 26 days after his birthday. He was the former mayor of... Baltimore and Baltimore Ravens equal 226. They're really big on that spider symbolism that was all connected to 226. The new quantum leap that came out that's linked up to the San Francisco earthquake. The 1989 Loma Prieta San Francisco earthquake, but the star of that show, the show premiered 226 days after his birthday. I had synchronicity with Seamus the Wrestler 226 days before Mark Wahlberg's birthday. And if you followed my blog and some of my videos, I talked about Mark Wahlberg and how he was linked up to earthquake symbolism with the song Good Vibrations. And I'm 
Oh, had synchronicity looking at my microwave while I was writing a post about Enter the Stars in 226. The new Slipknot album equals 226. Bruce Sutter died two months, 26 days before his birthday. Had synchronicity with Sailboats and the movie Mall Rats, and that was 226 days before Ethan Souplet's birthday. And he's the guy in the movie Mall Rats that can't see the sailboat on the magic eye. Angela Lansbury, 226. Weird synchronicity with the thing I had to DJ in this fire symbolism. And I ended up having to DJ this guy I used to know who burned down a house on accident. Whose name equal 226, but I had to DJ his wedding recently. The guy who plays Spider-Man, 226. Year of the Spider that started the whole spider symbolism for me equals 226. So all kinds of 226 stuff. Ivan Drago's full name, 226. Forgot to say that earlier. Probably because his name's too hard to pronounce, but... Dublin, Ireland, 226, in relation to the Warrington bombings and so on. Dolores O'Riordan is 223. Russia invaded Ukraine on 223. 223 was really big with Conor McGregor and Khabib the Russian... Oh yeah, Turkey Turkey also opened up a record-breaking bridge from Europe to Asia this year, and their president's born on 2-26. And that's really important to that narrative with Russia and boxing, so... We'll see, we'll see the symbolism of Thanksgiving this year. It seems to be important. I don't know what day it falls on, is the... What day does Thanksgiving fall on? The 24th? Yeah, the 24th, 11-24. Donald J. Trump is 226, and he's the, supposedly the savior of Ukraine, according to Hebrew gematria and so on, so. Yeah, I'll just leave it there. I, I made my point, I think. There's just something symbolic to... Pearl Harbor, 9-11, with this death of Aaron Carter. And this number 226, very, very important. And then you see the connections to, like, Dolores O'Riordan, who died in a bathtub, just like Aaron Carter. And except to earthquakes, I mean, possibly there is going to be a real earthquake, you know, linked up to it. But it seems very symbolic. Maybe that Maybe there'll be both, but... The, the symbolism is there. It doesn't even matter if there was an earthquake during the World Series because there's big time symbolism connected to it. But it's... We'll leave it there. I really need to probably go to bed. I don't even know. I, I don't even know. It's all good. Have a good one. Peace. So I actually started this video last night and... I went to work today and I noticed an interesting thing, so I'm just going to add it to the end of this video since I haven't uploaded it. But yesterday on November 8th, I was on YouTube at work and a video came up with Howard Stern and Weird Al. And Weird Al was on the Howard Stern show and they were talking about the tragic death of Weird Al's parents. Apparently, they had died from carbon monoxide poisoning in the year 2004 and I took a screenshot of it and I meant to blog about it last night but then I came home and started making that video late that night and then I just I figured oh, I'll blog about it the next day and I didn't think it was that important but the reason that I I thought that it I, w I wanted to blog about it was because if you read out carbon monoxide it just so happens to equal 226 and I was like there has to be a reason for this 226 and, you know, all the stuff I'm talking about that's linked back to Weird Al. And then today I went to work, and of course there was a story about three Americans found dead from carbon monoxide poisoning in Mexico City at an Airbnb. And it just really sticks out to me for the fact that if you look at my Aaron Carter video, where I talked about the synchronicity with Weird Al and earthquakes and all of that, I also talked about 
the earthquake that happened in near Mexico City, the Puebla earthquake that shook the Angel of Independence statue. And that's how in 2019, I thought that there was something important to earthquakes with Los Angeles, the city of angels. And keep in mind that Aaron Carter's twin sister, her name is also Angel. And the Angel Gabriel was really big with that twin theme that I was following in 2017. So it's interesting that there's people who die from carbon monoxide poisoning in Mexico City. And it links back to the same stuff I was talking about with Aaron Carter and so on. But remember in, in 2019 too, we had the earthquake near Los Angeles or in Southern California but the big emphasis was about Los Angeles and that was on independence day and a big piece to a lot of this earthquake stuff that I was talking about in 2019 that connected back to this. It was to the angel of independence statue. So then what are the odds there was a earthquake in the city of angels on independence day of all days. And that was also right after Tyler Skaggs had died. And remember Matt Harvey was just suspended because he or he was suspended earlier this year because he supposedly gave Tyler Skaggs drugs, right? So, and Tyler Skaggs was the Los Angeles Angels player. So, there's a lot of stuff going on here. So, it's just it's just really interesting that I would think that is important about the carbon monoxide and I just randomly stumbled upon it by going to YouTube and clicking on a video with Howard Stern and Weird Al. And then now today there's a story about Three Americans found dead from carbon monoxide poisoning in Mexico City. I'm just trying to piece this together here, but I went back and I looked at a uh, Weird Al's parents actually died on April 9th, 2004, which just so happened to be when he was 44 years old. And oddly enough, I took this screenshot of the article when my phone was at 44%. But remember, the word earthquake equals 44. So Weird Al's parents died when he was 44 years old, even. They also died... Let's see here. They also died 169 days after his birthday. Of course, in the Francis Bacon ciphers, Weird Al equals 169. So his parents died 169 days after his birthday. His name equals 169. Once again, just another example of these capital letter ciphers and why they're important, you know. Just never ends, it seems. But, and then he was 44 years old, like how earthquake equals 44. 2004 makes me think of the Indonesian earthquake and tsunami that was really big. Remember that? So, you know, that's the only thing I can think of when I think of earthquakes in 2004 was the Indonesian earthquake and tsunami. trying to think here what else is interesting too is that so his parents died in 2004 and the last album that he had out at the time of 2004 was the one called poodle hat and poodle hat just so happened to have that song from the backstreet boys on it the one that i talked about in this video with aaron carter where i talked about how i had synchronicity with weird al let's see if we can find it here my awesome internet, but I was talking about how I had synchronicity with this kid who supposedly never heard of the Backstreet Boys, but he said he's heard the Weird Al cover. And then I went into the next room or my bedroom and the Simpsons had an episode on and Weird Al was on that episode. And that was the synchronicity I was talking about in here. But the song that Weird Al made of the Backstreet Boys was called eBay which just so happened to be on the album that came out just before his parents died. And if you go from the day that that album came out, May 20th, 2003, it's 325 days. And that's interesting because in the Francis Bacon ciphers, with the capital E, the word earthquake just so happens to equal 325. And also, if you write out a Howard Stern's name, Look at, well, carbon monoxide's 152 as well, and look at Howard Stern, 152, and I think his, his middle name's Allen. well, it's in the Francis Bacon ciphers is why, 
Howard Allen Stern equals 325. So his name equals 325, just like how Earthquake equals 325, just like how Weird Al's parents died 325 days after Poodle Hat came out with the eBay song that I had synchronicity with. So, just craziness. So, I just went and looked and found the video that I watched at work the other day. And it was this one right here from the Howard Stern Show. But it shows the date May 17th, 2016. Well, that's just, that's just interesting because maybe there's something with the number 517 now too. Because Weird Al's parents just happened to die 5 months and 17 days after Weird Al's birthday. And then now this thing with Howard Stern is on May 17th. So, also if you go from Howard Stern's birthday, it's a span of 127 days before May 17th that year. And 127 was that big number connected to Aaron Carter and his sister. So, we will see. We'll see what's going on with that. Weird Al's parents died in San Diego as well, Southern California. So, it's interesting too. I've been seeing a lot of posts from my cousin who... Uh, he goes on tour with a bunch of bands and runs sound like with like Def Leppard and I don't know. I just, he's, but he lives in San Diego and his last name is Houston, but it's spelled just like Houston. And I've talked about the connection to him and a bunch of stuff. So that's, it just stands out to me. I don't know. I've just been seeing a lot of posts on Facebook from him recently like, he was just in Chicago, it looked like, and I think he's in Los Angeles now, and I don't know. Something just stands out there, so. And Houston equals 112 as well, right? Houston, like Howard Stern's birthday, 112. Just point it out really quick, but Houston 112. So maybe, maybe Howard Stern's birthday is important, too. 112, 112, the emergency dialing code in other countries. We'll see. I'll just leave it there, post the video, but I just thought that was interesting that I would, I wanted to blog about carbon monoxide poisoning and Weird Al's parents dying. And then literally the next day, there's a story about three people who died from carbon monoxide poisoning in uh, Mexico City. And Mexico City was important to that earthquake narrative with my Aaron Carter video, so we'll leave it there. I'm going to quit rambling. Have a good one. Peace out. Actually, one last thing that's interesting. If you go from Howard Stern's birthday that year to Weird Al's birthday, it was nine months and 11 days. 9-11, so peace out. I swear I'm really done.